That's on this recording? Yeah. Yo, what's, gonna what's Fitness Fridays, man? <laughs> what's Fitness Fridays, bro? Shut up, man. Bro, what's Fitness Fridays? It's not recording anymore. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fitness Fridays. This is your boy, Face Sensor. Why did you say it like that? <laughs> Yo, what up? I'm Skyler for Play Johnson. <laughs> and this is Fitness Friday. So we wanted to explain why we haven't had a Fitness Friday video in the last two weeks. So two weeks ago was actually his fault. Last week was my fault. Yeah, so uh, real life kind of got in the way a little bit. And when I mean real life, I mean virtual life as in video games. Um, so the release of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare came out. And this is actually my last Call of Duty that I'll be playing. So I don't even know if I'll make it through the whole season, to be honest, the way work is and stuff. But the game came out. I had two of my teammates come up. And they were up here. And we could not find a time between grinding the game from that release day to to be honest, to, to even be able to record. So the first week I'm gonna take responsibility for and it was definitely my fault. And with me doing that, I was so amped to go the next week and then come out the next week, he had the exact same thing happen. You know and I saying? overslept. I was up until five o'clock in the morning playing events warfare. Yep. I woke up at one in the afternoon, Skylar texted me at 10 in the morning asking me to come down to the offices of Chief in this Friday. But we must, we've just been grinding advanced warfare. It's yes. his last Call of Duty ever. He's an OG, he's been around since 2007. Yeah, so. Uh, competing at the highest level and. So this is one of those things where um, we had kind of led into this topic because we were originally supposed to be shooting our montage of us in the gym because like I said, I see him every day in the gym. We're actually going to start working out a little bit together. And um, we uh, this is going to be like a fuck perfection video. Am I allowed to say that on your channel? Fuck perfection. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's pretty much, um, sorry for the language for those of you that don't curse or anything, but when... Come on, Sky, all of them curse. They all know what fuck yeah. <laughs> so, Just be honest here. So when we're trying to say um, fuck perfection, what we mean by that is you're not going to be perfect in anything you do. And it's the same with your fitness aspect. You're not going to be perfect with your progress. You're not going to be perfectly eating exactly what you need to every time you're going to slip up. But that's the thing. Fuck perfection because that's not really what it's about. It's not about being perfect. It's about falling in love with the progress. That's what you need to focus on. Fall in love with the progress and getting healthy. Fall in love with exactly what we talked about before. All the steps that, we, that we've told you that so many people have tweeted us and said, oh man, this is my progress. I've gotten, I think, probably six to seven already tweets of people tweeting me their progress in the short span that we've been doing Fitness Friday. So even if we're only influencing, let's say, seven to eight people per week, to me, that's that's gold. You know what I mean? That's seven people that are changing their lives. So. I feel like there's this image around fitness and people who work out, especially people who are bodybuilders and people who have very nice physiques. And like, wow, those guys are perfect. They must have the best diet. They must train so good. They must be doing everything right. Yeah. It's not always the case. That's just not how it's going to be. Nobody's perfect. Nobody yeah. can do everything right every single time. Nobody's going to have a perfect diet, perfect training every single day, unless you're Ronnie Coleman or professional Mr. Olympia bodybuilder. Uh, it's just not going to happen. Things interfere in life. And like I said before, uh, I've been playing advanced warfare until 530 in the morning. So sometimes you just have other priorities that like get in the way of your goals with fitness. But at the end of the day, as long as you make time for training, as long as you make time for exercise, you're going to be okay. And let's go ahead and take a second to realize that same fuck perfection, focus on the progress, goes towards life now. Because same with Call of Duty, a lot of you guys grind Call of Duty, some of you guys want to be snipers, some of you guys want to be competitive players, and it's just not happening yet. A lot of you guys are not pros, you're not even considered semi-pros if that was even a thing at the moment. Um, it's a long process. It is, it is a road that you need to be ready to travel, and you have to be mentally ready to say, hey, I'm not going to make it right away, or hey, I might catch my break this event, or this tournament, or for a lot of you guys that don't even know how to start, the biggest thing is just get your foot in the door. Same with our Fitness Friday videos. We just wanted to get our foot in the door, and now we're actually moving with it. We personally made a goal not to miss another one for, was it three months? I don't even remember. I just don't want to miss one in, in general. Yeah, so like, we had no reason to. Us missing it kind of hyped us a little bit, and, I, and we were talking in the gym, and he was like, "What? Um, no, I, I brought up. What about Christmas? You know, like, what if uh, it falls on Christmas? He's like, "There's no excuse. We should record it before." So it's so true. It's about prioritizing, and we're gonna make mistakes. You know, and he, even in these series or videos that he makes on on this channel, I'm sure. He's gonna make those same mistakes. He's gonna do things. He's gonna catch heat that he shouldn't have for certain events, which he you knows. Like it's all it's all trial and error, guys. You know, yeah. I'm not perfect. He's not perfect. I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. He's gonna make a lot of mistakes. But the most important thing about making mistakes is learning from them and figuring out what what led to the mistake and what you can do differently the next time. And if you can understand that. Uh, it's going to make you go far. Uh, I've seen a lot of strides in my life since I've, I've been making a lot of mistakes. I make so many mistakes all the time. I'll admit it all the time. I always make mistakes, but the one thing I like to do is learn from them. And even if, you know, I don't go about it the right way, I just want to understand uh, what, what led to that mistake and how I could change things. Yeah, not only apologizing for missing Fitness Friday, I want to apologize for looking like a weirdo with our no-shave November. Yeah, straight. Look at my little peach rose, guys. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this right here. 
You see that? The camera won't even focus. That's how small it is, dude. And I'm not going to lie. It takes me about two months to grow a real beard. So I was trying and it's not really going to happen. So the whole thing is probably coming off to some first. But it's all about a progress, guys. Yeah, progress in your beards. No, but um, another thing we want to talk about for us making that mistake. He's going to give away three G Fuel tubs. I'm giving away three G Fuel tubs. However, something just dropped today that we want to talk about. This is the Green Apple G Fuel. Uh, for those of you that don't know, yeah, do that. Uh, Green Apple G Fuel just dropped. Uh, we released Phase very recently, and now we're releasing the Green Apple. Initial taste test video I'm gonna do with him. Um, I'm not sure what Fitness Friday we're gonna coordinate it in. This is this, sick, guys. Yeah, this is actually. Flavors. Yeah, this is really good. Um, for those of you that didn't try it, uh, if you guys want to win, all you have to do is leave a comment below. Maybe we can have him go hashtag Team Gamma. Hashtag Team Gamma, hashtag Hulk Juice, I don't know. Yeah, hashtag Team Gamma or hashtag Hulk Juice in the bottom comments below of this video and you're gonna be eligible to win. We always pick three per video. This one we're gonna do three for him, three for me, and then we'll send them out right away. So we'll contact you probably via YouTube message will probably be the easiest. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. So check your YouTube inboxes for anyone that puts the hashtag below. So yeah, sorry this one's not really Based, fitness based, this was kind of just like a get back into it, fuck perfection type of thing that we wanted to do. It is fitness based actually because I think about it all the time. I'm not the most perfect person at the gym. Just just talking about myself, I know when I go to the gym every single day, uh, there's sometimes I just don't go. It happens. Yeah. You know, things just happen and you can't be perfect. You can't always have, you know, the right track and you're going to fall off track sometimes. But the most important thing is just getting back on the right foot and getting right back in there. And for us, making these videos for you guys. And there is another note. Uh, we're going to do a thing called Max Outs, uh, where we're going to take our maxes and we're going to actually uh, go our maxes for all three of our core lifts. We'll probably do, what do you want to do, squat, deadlift, and bench? Sounds good to me. Yeah, so we'll do squat, deadlift, and bench. We're going to record our maxes on videotape so you guys can kind of see where we're at. Struggle for that last rep. In case you don't know what a max is, you want to tell them what it is, like a one rep max? Yeah, it's Most pretty simple. Good. Whatever your highest amount of weight you could possibly put up on one certain exercise is what a max is. So, yeah, for example, a bench press, if you want to bench 315 pounds, if you could do that one time, that would be your max. Yeah, so like no help, no anything, just one time, one rep max. So we're going to do our maxes, and what that's going to do is, not necessarily that you even need to focus on this, but in six months from now, we're going to be able to get our maxes from now till then. It'll be documented, and we can be like, wow, we really made gains in that. Or for example, I think personally with me, still cutting I'm gonna get weaker you know what I mean that's probably gonna happen because I've been noticing that the, the more weight I drop in terms of cutting up the the weaker I'm getting you know um, so that could even happen but at the end of the day it really doesn't matter so uh, we just want to do it for video content and then show you guys one rep maxes and what they can mean for you and to tr uh, track your progress so like I said before I apologize for missing the last week's Fitness Friday yeah me too that, was, that sucked yeah we screwed up guys we screwed up big time we promise it's not gonna happen again and if it does I expect you guys to tweet me all the time saying uh, screw you I hate you <laughs> well don't, don't go that guy unless we have like a valid real life excuse you know like if something crazy happens god forbid yeah but. exactly so hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, please give it a thumbs up thumbs up for green apple this is my favorite flavor by far and i'm not just saying that guys i literally drink this almost every single night i just wasn't allowed to talk about it but i drink this all the time and it's freaking amazing yeah and then um also what cool thing fitness friday is going to bring to you guys is we are going to get to choose a G Fuel flavor eventually. And with this series, I promise you, give it a, it's gonna be a little bit, little bit down the road, but when Fitness Friday continues to grow, we're gonna to go to the CEO of the company and we're gonna say, hey, we have a huge following that really loves G Fuel and they get to choose a flavor. We'll do a straw poll. You guys get to poll it out and see who wins. And all of a sudden, you guys just made your own flavor. Just saying. That's pretty sick, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, it's your boy, Face Sensor. This is Foreplay. And we're out. Peace. Peace.